Hey all, Wild for Games here with another quick Twitch tip. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of the features that are a little hard to find in the new creative dashboard that just came out from Twitch. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a hidden secret that is in the brand new dashboard that's gonna take you back to the past. Let's go. Twitch has come out with some brand new updates to their creative dashboard. In fact, it's not really called creative dashboard anymore. It's called stream manager. Stream manager is the new interface that you will be using as a Twitch streamer. Now, most of the things are pretty easy to find and easy to use. They actually made it very intuitive. However, some things are hidden that I wanna show you where you can find them so that way you'll be streamlined using it. Starting at the top, you have a ledger that gives you a lot of good information for when you're live. How long you've been live for, the viewer count, how many followers you have, and so forth and so forth. But if you're the type of streamer that finds this distracting because you may concentrate on the numbers, which is completely okay, you can actually hover over these options and tick on them and it will hide them so that way you won't be distracted on how many followers are in your channel or how long you've been streaming for. It's a cool little quick tip for you. In the top left corner is where you will find all the other options that you used to see on the left ledger for the creative dashboard. Now under the accordion options for stream manager where you can take a look at your insights, community, content, preferences, and so forth. If you're a streamer out there that already has access to the channel points, if you go under the activity feed header, you'll notice there are three dots. And all the way at the bottom, you will see a tab that says manage requests. Go ahead and click on this and it'll populate a window that'll allow you to see who's actively using your points and redeeming rewards. This way you can be on top of the queue if you have to do anything manual or visual within your channel to follow through on those rewards. In your video player, when you click on the cogwheel for settings, you will see a new tab that says advanced, which gives you some very interesting information on your video stats, which will show you resolution, display resolution, and so forth, as well as ad stats for when you play ads on your stream. Now, if you're new to using the new stream manager dashboard here, and you don't really like the display of how everything's laid out, the cool thing is everything is modular except for the top header there. So you can move the video player wherever you want, the quick actions wherever you want, the activity feed to wherever you want. It's really cool, you can adjust different sizes and move it wherever you want. So make sure you personalize it, whatever gonna give you the best flow for your stream. In addition to it also being modular, you can now pop out every window except the header and move it to where you want on any monitor. Now let's say you move things around, you don't really like the display of what you picked and it kinda looks a little messed up. Well, lucky for you, and this is not a joke, Twitch put in there a little hidden Easter egg where you can legitimately enter in the Konami code. Just click on anywhere on the window display and type up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. I'm not joking. Hey, I just got 30 extra lives. When you enter the code in correctly, you will be taken to a little hidden Easter egg menu. Essentially, all this does at the moment is allow you to tick on and off certain assets within the stream manager window. Perhaps you don't like the active feed panel, well you can take it off and hide it away. This gives you a little more flexibility of what you wanna do within your stream manager slash creative dashboard. Now I did not discover this, I actually found this on Reddit from I believe a developer of Twitch's dashboard. So congratulations goes to the poster on Reddit, DJ Fluffkins, thank you for sharing this information. But he goes into a little bit more information about this hidden menu that's kind of interesting. To paraphrase, essentially this little hidden menu might just be a placeholder until some new development comes out or additions to the Twitch stream manager slash creative dashboard. But he kind of lets us know that this may be a little hidden Easter egg that may store secrets in the future. So it might be worth checking out a few times down the road to see if anything cool is released on this. So thank you for sharing. Love it or hate it, the new Twitch creative dashboard slash stream manager is pretty much here to stay. But I'm curious, what feature would you like Twitch to add in? Leave me a comment down below because I would love to hear what you think your opinions are, plus feedback. I love reading all of that stuff. If you guys need any more help with any quick tips or any tips in general, I'm gonna do you a favor and put a playlist over here to the side that's gonna help you get a boost on your streaming platform. I recommend taking a look at that playlist right after this video. And until next time, I will see you all in my next quick Twitch tip video coming out real soon. Take care all, and of course, peace.